Hi, this is Lena and Sharif, and I live in Gaza. I'm 20 years old. Um, in the next couple of uh, minutes, I'm going to take you a tour to introduce you to minor life difficulties during the war in Gaza. As you can see, uh, I live in this, in a place where it where it is quite safe. Not exactly nowhere nowhere is exactly safe right now, but this is this place is some, some sort of remote of the places where the Israeli army are taking place. Get bombings, heavy ones, very close, every once in a while, and they are pretty much crazy and scary. Anyhow, now it's uh, 12 p.m. and uh, and as I as I have heard that now we have the halt for the Israeli army. They don't bomb. They don't do anything. So people can go out and buy things and get supplies and so on and so on but you know it's not even that it's not even quite safe because sometimes the bombings still going on even though they have announced that there are no actions so this is the view from where I live I'm going to take some of the things that We've been some sort of suffering up, but not exactly. Um, it's pretty much cold in January, so but we cannot close the windows. Because mainly, if there is bombings happens quite close to us, and the window was not closed you will get the window out of your face and broke and this will be broken to your face into pieces because the bombings are pretty much heavy so the windows cannot stand the sound and the impact so they break in pieces and many 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 houses in Gaza are now windowless they use nylon instead of the windows because there are there is no glass like this for the windows because of the siege this is one two as no place is safe around windows so we stay out to, away from the windows as much as we can this is our dining room mainly our dining room was not there this is the temporary place for it because we have replaced the dining we have replaced the dining room into bedroom slash living room this is mainly our have been our living room for for like almost 20 um let me think i don't know 20. maybe two weeks we have been staying just here yes and uh, even when there is like no bombing it's not night we no longer stay there, there in our living room and as you can see, the TV was in there. We have removed it down there, too, so we can watch it from down there. But, you know, it's in vain because the TV hasn't been working well since the start of the war because the airplane disguise, there is some, ha some sort of uh, a plane called drone. And this plane somehow distracts the, the, the digital signal, so you no longer can watch TV properly.